persona, I just me. I'm just me. Who the fuck you know about that, nigga? That's T.O.P. Anytime I walk in the building, I know who I'm in. How the fuck I be the villain, but you know I'm chilling. <laughs> I'm just venting if you know I'm not spitting. Uh, this shit right here was unwritten. So I put that shit down for every nigga that I know. And if I ain't get to you, nigga, you already know. Already. If he, here you go. If you don't know, now you know, nigga. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, are we recording right now? Oh shit! Oh, yes, slow. <laughs> oh boy, don't put me uh -huh. on that track like that. Oh, I've been drinking. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Great Apes Cafe. Yes, we live and direct on the motherfucking airways. Great appreciation for people, yes. entertainment, and success. And I want to highlight some things. But before we do that, we're going to introduce our guests or members of Great Apes yeah. Cafe family and podcast. To my right, I have your boy TK. TK, what it do? Ain't nobody else. Uh, nigga, it's biggest boss. If you don't know, you uh, lost. And if you don't know, huh, you lost, boy. And to my left, <laughs> I had that. I had that the, one of the realest niggas alive. One of my, one of my, one of my fam part of the damn podcast. Who that be? Boy, that boy, cool. cool. Yeah, man. You know, boy, hey. Oh, boy, speaking smile. of a loss, I took a loss hey. to a mosquito, and that motherfucker's still winning. So please excuse my motherfucker <laughs> shit. Damn. There's a mosquito excuse in the house. My shit. Mm. No, I, I had a reaction, man. Like two, like a week ago, and it's still jumping off, man. Like yo, like I, I, I'm covered up. I'm good. Oh, you talking the band aid situation? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. That motherfucker beat my ass. You hear me? Oh yeah, the mosquitoes, boy. Mm -hmm. Don't touch your face. Hey, you know, what? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you one thing to do. One thing not to do. Microphone right. check. Microphone check. I'm gonna tell you one thing not to do. Don't scratch these. Man, I swear, bro. Facts. I be moving all kind of ways when I'm asleep, bro. That's I don't even be knowing, bro. Situation. I woke up my whole half a face. I look like two face in that motherfucker, <laughs> man, face. bro. I no. ain't lying like this shit. Crazy. Yes, I know. Oh, yeah. Mosquitoes definitely is um rampant. I'm, I'm actually happy I kind of brought that up. So, you know, this is 2021, and they have a lot of development of new drugs. And they just came out this year with the new drug uh, to basically have a vaccination against malaria, the leading cause of death in third world countries, countries Come in on. South America, countries in Africa, especially closer to that equator around Earth. And um, I don't know the scientific data specifically, but that's dope. That's dope if it, if the medicine actually worked and it's, it's positive reaction to that. So shout out to the company who actually come out with the drug, malaria, and fuck yeah. mosquitoes. Do you think they're going to be <laughs> accepting to the cure? Mm. I don't know. They need, I feel like they need to do, to do more research. I feel like that's, you know, that's the big thing right here where we are now. Like, everything ain't perfect. But if there's something that could be done, how right. do you feel about that? Like... I mean, mosquitoes can harbor a whole bunch of diseases. I mean, we talk about malaria, also Zika. You know what I mean? I'm happy that she brought that up. Um, nah, about anything, man, because they suck the blood up. And then, you know. Right. I mean, that ain't, ain't it. It just ain't it. When you Anybody going to third world countries and you leaving from a country that doesn't have malaria, make sure you get your shots. Make oh, sure cool. you get your net. Get your net to keep the, the uh, mosquitoes yeah. away. And get you some fucking bucks. So why is that so hard to say about COVID? Like, why is that so hard to... COVID different. Why is it having to be pushed and pressed <laughs> upon for motherfuckers to just get a shot for COVID? Like, what? what's the... My boy said... My boy said, we go out here. He said, y'all motherfuckers... Oh, my bad. I, <laughs> Are you I, 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 I no, forgot. I forgot. Like, yeah. Yeah. Nah, my speech. bad. I forgot. Like, I forgot. We I take chances. <laughs> we take chances in the street. Hey, my boy said. My boy you said. Really tripping about a shot. My boy said, "Y'all out here smoking weed. Y'all out here shooting up drugs. Oh. Y'all smoking crack." Uh huh. He talking about man. You, I mean, you mean to tell me you can't go get a shot? Seven months later, oh. and <laughs> that is some truth. Chilling. But These we put everything else in their body. You so afraid? Now, then, what are you afraid? Really? What you afraid of of a, of, a, of a vaccine if it comes to you? You right? It's what kind of life that. you live in. <laughs> if I'm afraid of a cure or, 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 or of something that's supposed to be a cure, if at least I mean, come on now, it's not like we sit here and got a list of, uh, of things that's uh, in a flu virus. You don't, you don't know what the fuck is in a flu. I virus. know why people are scared though, bro. It's a lot of unhealthy. Oh, I mean, in the flu shot. Excuse me. I know it's a lot of unhealthy people out there. You a bad heart, bad this. Bad, nah, bad. it's not that. It's not. I'm. A, I got it too. No, I'm trying. I'm just trying to say that a lot of people have you know, bad stuff, so they don't want to get shot because they say that... Another word of COVID, 
uh, uh, comorbidities. Comorbidities. You got a lot of comorbidities. People who are overweight. People may who may have other diseases. Yeah, underlying, conditions, underlying, but that's yeah, underlying conditions. Yeah, underlying. Yeah, underlying conditions. So because I got the flu and I'm I'm a big nigga and I died from the flu. It's because of COVID. All of a sudden, no motherfucker, I had the flu, <laughs> which led into bronco uh, pneumonia. Probably Fact. turned into you know what I'm saying. Shut my shit the fuck down. Why does everything have to be? I, I feel like besides It's ridiculous now No no it's, it's, it's I feel like we are gonna be like Laughing about this shit next year Like what the fuck Besides I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna tell you what it is <laughs> Besides the, And I agree with you TK the, Besides <laughs> the politics Yeah Y'all Besides the politics We had an information War and You have to question your source On where you get your information from You know what I mean It's right. a lot of people uh, You look on CNN And you look on Fox News 20 years ago, it wasn't so different. Now, but there were mistakes. Two different, of course. Mm-hmm. But now it's like two different universes. There were mistakes made during the COVID. And, and, and you got to realize there were people that put their actual life on the line to get the COVID vaccination that actually signed their life over to make an account and die. People you won't even know about to make the to make a cure for this. Like, the, the come question on, is, bro. The this question is this, ridiculous. though. It's the question. Do you know what Ingredients is in the cocktail of anything. I mean, when somebody go, when somebody go, a prime example. If you have or been diagnosed with cancer, you know, right, and you get you go out there, you get that cocktail, you get chemotherapy with a, a cocktail of many different drugs. Do you know all the drugs in that cocktail? For some, it's a lot. It could be the difference between three, fifteen. You know what I mean? For some, it's a lot. So you have to think. I understand why people was nervous and scared, the fear factor, the mm-hmm. informational problem that comes with that. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? You're talking to a guy who does have their COVID vaccination. Hey, Hold that thought. Up, so we live in an informational war. Like, you, you got to figure out, you got to question everything. Where nice. your source going at? Where your source coming from? On one one platform, you hear this. On another platform, you hear that. Some platforms are Democratic, Republican. Some re- represent LBGTQ community. Others represent Black community, Caucasian com- community, white power community. Mm-hmm. So on. A, it's just so much, many labels. Think about high school. How many cliques there was high school? You had your cheerleaders over here. You had your popular, popular people over here. You had your goths people mm-hmm. over here wearing all black. You had your... Your borderline redneck races over here. You know what I mean? It's just so many clicks. Your football team, so many clicks. And now that is mag- magnified on the platform of information. You got to question everything. So when somebody come up to me, prime example, somebody who works at my job, I won't say their name. You know who you are. They follow QAnon. Mm-hmm. And I don't, I mean, I'm like, yo, QAnon to me is. It's it's like they say what the far left, the far right. I don't know left or right. I don't even the fucking know my oh, left they're right. Definitely, in the but they yeah range. they're like oh stream beyond conservative in yeah. the realm of false reality. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and but that's the world what we they push in. is what they believe. So yeah, that's the world we live in where mm. your facts can be manipulated to your truth. That's so sad. And that's scary. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's sad. It ain't scary to me. It's sad as shit because when the motherfuckers come with the facts and fucking sweep y'all ass up under the fucking, from under the rug, it's, it's, no, it's going to be what scary, it is. This is what scares me, TK. The indoctrination of children growing up into a household that teach them nothing but false and information. And when they get to the street, they're they going to find what out what's, culture what it is. Yeah. That, and that, culture shock. Now it's necessary because... I hate to say it, going back to it, they don't want to talk about it. Mm. I, I mean, don't want to say the name because, you know, we're going to get into the thing. But you know who you are. And the thing is, I, they there, don't want to talk about it. There's a situation they where stand. I, I know a female back in high school, and if you've seen this, you know who you are. She was brought up in her household who believed that the Holocaust didn't happen at all. And so when she, high school, we have a debate in civics and some shit in high school. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, to say that the Holocaust didn't happen is to also say that the African Holocaust didn't happen. 400 ye- years of slavery, but the African Holocaust technically is a thousand years. Michael Wood said that. He said he did, He thought that, uh, that no, uh, the slaves didn't have it as bad as the Jewish people. And I said, whoa. 
That's crazy. Like you literally had people on postcards hung up for 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 yeah for holidays. Like how you doing? Yeah, nigga hanging. It's a thousand years of slavery. Come on, fans, man. man. The, they don't want to. They don't want to get years. that. They don't want to get hit with that. Think mm-hmm. about it, man. If, if if we if if really we push that towards them, man, it'd be a fallout. I don't think it's that though. It's it's because we've been pushing that. Martin Luther King pushed that. But Malcolm now we're trying to push book. it in the school, where it can change the way that is being that 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 the American way is thinking. And I've uh, never uh, seen the is. crazy part is I, my child. I'm I'm it's contemplating. I'm contemplating homeschooling my child. It's propaganda. We'll talk. We'll talk. If the- I have to figure out another <laughs> platform for me to get out the trucking industry, and I would, I, I will. If I have to, if I have to teach my own son, uh, or sons. I have a child on the way. I, I should have just got homeschooled, but the best thing I did was dropped out and self-taught myself. Mm. I have that education because I educated myself. I didn't just listen to what everybody else was saying, Wikipedia, everything. Right, no, right. I put it down with the books. I want the books to have bibliography. I wanted to have a reference so I could look at the reference of his reference. I want to know where my information is coming from. I don't want the the the, the, the wash. A lot of people don't do. No people don't know how to no. do what's called research and question a source. You always got to question your source, always. But anyway, look, damn, it's sad. That's a, that's some situ- that's some situations that's happening a lot nowadays on all spectrums. I see whether if you are Democratic, Republican, uh, conservative, non-conservative, whatever uh, banner you you're waving, whatever uh, niche you're in. I hope that you question your information because I know I do. Have to. And I don't, I, me, I just try to be optimistic as fuck. I don't want, I question everybody. You know what I mean? So. Well, speaking on that, uh, that brings me to the point of Cuba. Uh, I mean, uh, well, Cuba, I was th- thinking about that. Uh, Ice Cube. Ice Cube, he said Cuba. Uh, yeah, Cuba nah, Jr. Yeah, I was watching, yeah, no. <laughs> Cuba Gooden Jr.'s brother, they was, uh, it was on YouTube earlier. I was watching that. So right, I was okay, 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 but okay. Ice Cube turning down the nine million for mm-hmm. uh, shooting a movie with Jack Black because of uh, the COVID vaccination mandates that the, uh, well, regulations, I should say, that the studios are having. I literally have to go through that. And if I got to go through that, why can't you go through that? Mm. How many people you know turned down millions of dollars? I know Dave Chappelle did it. Um, I think the dude who played in that movie, Elf, from Santa Claus, he turned down a movie that was worth millions of dollars. Mm. And you have to ask yourself always this, for a lot of people, and some people who, who was like like us, right, or other people, not just mm-hmm. us, regular people, right? Would you turn out millions of dollars? And you probably say no, but what stipulation comes with that? What comes with getting that money, besides fame and <laughs> fortune, or headaches, or or hidden agendas, or contractual agreements? Like you know, you know what I mean. If Ice Cube turned this down, if it's going, and you already worth millions of dollars. So nine million ain't gonna hurt them. But you know what I mean? Yeah, but then you can't haggle later on with the company when they don't want to pay for your budgets. Perhaps your yesterday bag just turned it. Your ain't, ain't today's bag now. Perhaps you know what I'm saying? You done turned down the studio. You done turned down Sony. You know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. But sometimes, sometimes think about why Dave Chappelle turned down. His I can't million. fight. You can't fight every battle Dave Chappelle like walked that, away bro. from thirty million dollars. You can't. He walked away from thirty million dollars. Memory serve me right, DJ Barbarian. Am I right? Can you? Fact check me on that. He, he don't know. $30 million, Dave Chappelle turned away. It could be more than that. And you have to sit back and be like, damn, is he crazy or, or did he get a piece but of mind? But why wouldn't I want to protect the people that are around me and doing the That's things? That's one way that, of looking that, at that, it. That, fuck but the what, bag. But what? Fuck the bag. Facts. What came with that if he did sign that contract for $30 million? What did he, what? Will he be able to do his well, true commodity? Well, he did commodity? that for, for the people. He did that for, for, for more. It was bigger than him. It was big, way bigger than him. But, but that's what, this they is wanted not the him battle for in that. A, in a contract, they wanted him to do shit that, that he didn't want to do. I'm going to just be honest. This ain't the battle for that. What do you think it Come is? Come on, man. We're going... How, how, how are we going to be mad now when they actually have vaccinations for people? And y'all sat around like, oh man, they mad. They're getting it before me. Oh man, Some they don't want don't us want to, to live. Take the vaccine. Now all of a sudden it's right there at your fingertips anytime you want it. And now all you scared. You want to go to the liquor store. <laughs> man, be real. You think it's more to be it than what? Real. I, I think it's more it. to it. I think it's more to it. I can't it's hear it. I can't hear it. Like it, it just makes no sense. Why would you cry? Let me ask you a question, audience. Would you turn down millions of dollars? It's not the bag. Would you? It's not the bag. No. Would I, would I, wouldn't you I don't wanna, think it's the bag? Would I want to kill somebody for this money? 
My, my Would I want to kill a bunch of people just to make a movie? My opinion Back. on this, though. Back. Come on, be let's real. be real. Be real. My opinion on this, and even though I am, you know, even though I am getting the shots and getting vaccinated, it's a lot of people dying that's vaccinated. Yeah, but people yeah. die. It's so More, much. It's, it's less, so much. It's so I'm much. I'm not going to put that but, all behind but, the but vaccination, let's, let's, bro. Let's, let's, it's so, adverse I, effects to everything. Let's, let's, let's There's really adverse highlight effects that situation, to Benadryl. Though. Yeah, true. Let's really and highlight that. And that's allergy that. relief. Come on, man. And and be I'm not, real. I'm not trying to like uh, pick sides on who should get back. I think it's freedom of choice, right? I at think everybody should have freedom of choice. But when you look but at it. But if it's your job. Who, Perhaps. That you got to put on the line, Perhaps. Kate, what the fuck? In, in your situation, I'm going to get to that, TK. I got to get to, <laughs> get to what you just said, the job. When it comes to your situation, absolutely, to a certain extent, yeah, there's more, there's still people dying from who have, you know, who had got vaccinated, they still die. Right. But look at the statistics. More so, a trove of more people die from not being vaccinated. Right. And compared compared to people who whole are. fucking whole fucking you know what I mean? people but, got and, decimated and, and the like, thing about bro, it is it you gotta nasty. look at the, the underlying Spain, effects Spain's death were nasty like come on, people, you like, gotta look at the underlying effects if somebody died from COVID is it really from COVID you know what I mean right is it is it because they have diabetes is yeah. it because the hospital know that if they count this person dying from COVID that they get a I gotta say this it. rest in, uh, in peace to Miss Jovita Moore for uh, WBS TV in Atlanta cause she Passed away from a, a, a rare brain uh, cancer. Mm, I, heard I mean, about that. come on! Like everything can't everything can't be the, the boogeyman, bro. Like mm. it might be just you. It's, it might you just think, be the media that's scaring. People I'm my up. own biggest enemy. Why wouldn't it be me? Why wouldn't my fear of, of doing but something it, but be your, my cause and my downfall? In come your on, situation, now, though, in your situation, which you answered earlier, not situation, but she said earlier about the mm. job situation. I feel like that people who should always have a choice. When you start mandating right. uh, people You could always vaccine, leave that job. It ain't the last. But don't facts. be on the way out suing yeah, because you facts, can't get facts, another job. Facts. Like, you left the job. Like, come on. Let's be real about facts. it. I feel like the moment you take the opportunity of choice away, it creates a, a bigger boogeyman than what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. So people don't... People die from, from not being vaccinated. People die who are vaccinated. Uh... It's ridiculous. Death is, death is inevitable. It's ridiculous. You know, I feel like you got to question everything. And if somebody get vaccinated, you don't get back. All right, sure. If you don't get vaccinated, all right, I sure. I know more people that have gotten COVID and be like, yo, I'm going to just sit at the house and wait for this to be over with. When you could have prevented it. I, I mean, come on. And, and I know seven people who died from COVID, the new, especially the new strand of variant within the past three months. If I know that there's something that could have helped me before I hit the box... Well, Can I you, do everything in my power question. to do that? Was people self preservation and all facts? <laughs> facts. But think about like this. CK. Now I'm looking at a survival of the fittest. Now, like yo, some people are just getting weeded out now. Facts. Like it's getting yo, it's about to be like that. Like it's that's what it is. Like look at polio. You didn't want to do anything about it, so nature's going to weed that out. When polio vaccines came out, do you think it was as much ridicule or 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 a, a form of information war? on what's going on with COVID compared to polio? Because everybody has has their, their fingertips. Like, everybody has that opinion. And people, if you're swayed by opinion, I'm going to tell you this. I'm though. sorry. I'm going to tell you this. This, this ain't, you ain't, you ain't about that life for real. You just, I'm you, tell you, you I'm getting tell, swayed into whatever this, it though. is. Like, that's, that's whether, crazy. Whether if you get a vaccine or not, question everything. Do your, do your research. If you feel like in your heart of hearts, you don't get the vaccine, that's you. If you do, you do get the vaccine, that's also you. But I want y'all to really think about this. Question everything. Question your source. Make decisions, not because people ask you to, but because in your heart of hearts, you believe that it's necessary for your self-health. Uh, you know what I mean? So uh, definitely think about that. Um, let me go ahead and we we'll go out that situation. I know my producer really don't want me to talk about COVID. However, we're not really talking about the necessary attribute of COVID. We're talking about the attribute of vaccination. But let me get off that 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 uh topic. What other topics you want to talk about? I'm gonna start with you, Kev. What topics do you want to talk about? And I'm gonna end up throwing the alley to my homeboy TK. Uh, I want to talk about Claudette Colvin. 
Claudette Colvin. What's going on? So this was a lady in 1955. The girl, the woman who set, who, who uh, protest before Rosa Parks? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Actually, okay, you know, okay. About the segregated uh, bus incident or whatever. Okay, like, big facts. Okay, I got no been, This lady been, she got put on probation for it in 1955. Wait, what? Yeah, so like, she got put on probation for it. 1955, it's like 67. That's 70 years ago, right? Yeah, yeah it's like almost. 60 something, 68? Like 67 to 70. I'm not good at math. That's like more that. than 60 years ago. But she said she still <laughs> feel like she's on probation because she haven't got any paperwork saying that she's off of probation. She haven't got any word. You know, any form of communication saying that she completed what, probation. What, what state she in? What state she in? That's got to be crazy. Um, I think this is Alabama. What's the statute of limitations around that? Something like that. I, that's right. If someone will tell you off probation, when what? I was on probation in high school, my officer came up to me, congratulations, you completed probation. You are now free. Yeah. You know, you so get, she you never had some... that, that closure. So what kind of probation is that? Because I know probation, you can't leave the state like, it was that deep, like it was probation. I mean, probation. This, this like, lady, this lady feared for her life. Like, some daily basis. What the like, hell? Yeah, when I was on probation, and I was. And they just around. now exonerating this lady. No, they didn't exonerate oh. her. She still want to know if she's still off probation. She still, she don't know if she's that's, off probation or not. But that's crazy. Got, isn't it? She never got word. That's Whoa. Saying, hey, you know, you off probation. Nobody never came to her and said, "Hey, you know, you know what? That is You're crazy." Off probation. Hell no. That's crazy. I mean, when I was on probation, my officer, my the probation officer came up to me, you know what I mean? You know who you are. I ain't going to say your name because she damn sure was trying to flirt a little bit. I was in high school, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> but at the end of the day, um, she told me I completed my probation and I was able to do that. I'm happy I'm a gangful member of society and doing what I need to How do. How would you feel if yes. she never tell you that? <laughs> you know, I need to go talk you, to my cousin. Like, would you like ask questions? Shout out RP to my cousin Ola Lewis. I would have went to her and I would have said, "Hey, what's going on?" Well, she got a civil rights name for real, Ola Lewis. She was a, a Supreme Court judge, honorable Supreme Court judge Ola <laughs> Lewis. She was tough. I know a lot of people Shout probably don't. You the RP to her. I know a lot of people don't like her because she put some RP. She, she was rough, Ooh. but. Um, for, for me, I can't speak about everybody else, but for me, she pulled me into her chambers and she said, you know, Tim, this is your last time you're going to get in trouble as, as a person in high school. Because wow. if you get in trouble again, um, you know, I send my own, you know, I send family members away for 25 years. That's life, life changing. Don't think I won't send your ass to jail because you're my cousin. Right. And she was crying. I need you to get shit together. I won't tell you. You know, y'all probably find out in the future. But anyway, um, I realized, damn, like, this is my own. She going to sit my, I might get the maximum. You know what I mean? Like, when she took me into the, uh, her judge. Trying to prove a point. Yeah, yeah she proved a point. So Just, that, I mean, with that being said, how you think? How you think? You I mean, I was it. happy to get closure to know when I was off probation. I'm, I'm mad that she didn't. I'm mad that the person that you just brought up What's her name again? Corday? Corday. Corday. Ms. Coven didn't get actual uh, confirmation mm -hmm. um, that she finished. That would, that, that would like leave you in fear, right? Like, it's yeah. more than fear. I mean, it's a hidden. Think about how many laws, how many bills have been passed, how many. I mean, I was 16 when I was got in trouble, so I'm 30 now. Leave I couldn't seven. imagine. <laughs> you know, I could imagine. Oh, what the fuck? I'm still. I don't know if I got a probation or not. <laughs> Six, like sixty something. Sixty. Years I'm old, old as hell. That's like doing a life. That's like doing three life sentences. It's not that. It's it's what's important, y'all. Y'all might laugh at this, but what's mm -hmm. important is having a peace of mind. This woman got to get a peace of mind. What the hell? What's going on? What's the? I, hey. What's what's what? Wow. Let me all damn. Let me alley you this this. Uh, let me switch topics. God, I got I got another topic too. I got. Another I'm gonna bring it back to you, TK. What you want to talk about real quick? Oh, what man. you got to talk about? What oh. we talked about earlier? It was, oh, 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 o
Oh. And I'm going to start off with you before I alley you, throw it back to your way. I'm going to tell you what's being gangster. What's being gangster is any man and or woman or even other nowadays, because this is 2021, mm. there's an LBGTQ community. But what's being gangster is making sure that gangster is taking care of their priorities. Mm. You know what I mean? Do you agree with that? Oh, yeah, of course. That's first thing. Mm. That's first point. And, and definitely uh, making sure everybody around you is, is, is just as comfortable as you are. Mm. That's, that's, mm. that's Facts. point blank, period. Like, Facts. I, I have to say, like, man, so many empires, so many things that, 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 that formed family, real families. Like, you see BMF and stuff like that. Like, I can't knock those people. Like, they had structure, they had family, but they actually took care of each other. Right. They did. I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't as brash and as bold as everybody else might might take it. But it 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 was what it was. A tight knit mm-hmm. circle. Right. Me to me being in that uh, uh being in an environment of gangsters. I tell you that everybody is is just like you. It it the the feelings, the emotion. I mean the 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 ups and downs. With, I mean we. It's like a form of com- camaraderie in a sense. But yeah, I mean that's all it is. And to actually. It's very few that they have real people around them that they can they can have that with and be able to keep each other uh, keep building with each other. We, right. I mean, I'm telling you, I seen and then I seen people that all out for self, straight destroy everything, mm. can mm. can wreck everything, havoc on everybody, like bring the whole thing down. Mm. So that's definitely to mm. me what it's about. I feel like there's different levels in that situation. Yeah, of understanding. Um, I also feel like uh, one thing about in a situation of of, of, of gangs, people who are associated, um, in a sense, is mm. what I what I see. What they have is in a sense of what I want: loyalty, mm. camaraderie, appreciation, and respect. You know, what I mean, it's it's a lot of people, and I'm not trying to be. I'm, you know, I'm just getting just just saying that. Like, I'm the only child, right? So. I would see y'all, my producer, y'all as brothers right. before I see anybody else. You know what I mean? You know, and and that's what, what in a sense, I'm not saying we're a gang, but in a sense, what we're a club. Well, we have mutual respect for each other. Right. And I, I feel like, I feel like it's a part of that loyalty aspect is what's missing from a lot of people in general. Not just in gangs. It's a lot of people, just like it's a lot of niggas who don't know how to act around females, it's a lot of people who don't know how to act around other people. Well, they didn't have that structure. They they were brought up, I'm telling you. You think it, that has they to do with structure? In a, in a, Nature no, versus nurture. No, no, no. They it, it, it really is to the point now where I see what certain people were talking about back then, where you don't have a father and you don't have those certain people around you that can mm. guide you and show you certain things. Right. For real, that's, that, that's God's honest... If you, there are very few gangsters that had people around them that had that structure before their family was decimated by drugs and everything else, mm. and, and even gang yeah. life. They and they were uh, 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 pressed upon about having loyalty over a bag. If you fucking have loyalty, real loyalty, true loyalty, the bag comes to you. The facts. bag will always find oh, you. Facts. Because the, because you, if you really have loyalty, that means. I've made sure everybody around me ate the same way I ate. Motherfucker, if you was up or down, late or fucked up, and I still showed you the same love, that's what brings the Lord facts. all of the facts. fucking royalty back to you. That's facts. When I got in trouble, um, I'm past statute of limitations, so I can talk about it. Um, I, I didn't mm-hmm. snitch, and I took... I took accountability for everything, mm-hmm. and I wouldn't change anything. Um, I was just brought up in a, in a code of conduct where snitching is against my religion. Mm-hmm. You know, I I just couldn't. I, I mean, I can't speak for everybody else. Some people say, "Oh, if I was in that your situation, I would have told everything." I just couldn't. I mean, granted, I got off with probation, and yeah, I may have been lucky enough to know who judges and, and lawyers and I knew how the game worked and people was looking out for me. So I had a form of, of I guess, a, a one up or two up on that. But 
I just couldn't find myself to actually snitch. That code is very, very important. And it hurts me to, to see that people are so willing to like to snitch. It just on a just on a level, let's put gang, gang ideology to the side. Mm-hmm. Just on respect. If I know one of my friends did some shit, I ain't saying it, bro. <laughs> me? I, I just can't. I just, it sounds weird. Oh, yeah, such and such did this, this, and hell no. I don't know nothing. I plead the fifth. Let me call my judge. I mean, not my judge, my, my um cousin, who's a, you know, she's a judge. Or let me call Legal Shield and get my lawyers. I don't know nothing. I don't, let me call my lawyer. You know what I mean? Like, it's just me. Like, that's my ideology. Right. Some people, I, that I talk to, they were like, Tim, I don't know how you, I don't know how you did that. You gambling with your life, and perhaps maybe I was. That's your stance. But I just couldn't be that person. But like, oh yeah, I saw such and such and such. <laughs> and then now, when I see these same people I did six on, I see them in the streets, or I see them. Uh, they hit me up on Facebook. So, how you doing? Do you need anything? Do you need the money? That's why you I doing disagree. good. Well, I say you know, friends. No, no. When we were talking about that, yes, right. The, the only uh, OG true OG told me. Ain't nothing good about the friend but the end. Motherfucker for real. Cause when in the end went, cause it's gonna fall out, you're gonna find out who that motherfucker was the, in the if first place. Shit hit the fan. Who is a fan? That's why I say I'ma have that loyalty. You ain't gotta have loyalty to me. I'm good enough to know whether I how at the end of the day, however I end up, motherfucker, the motherfuckers that was loyal to me is gonna is gonna move how they move. And the motherfuckers that was disloyal to me. It's go, you're going to have to wear that. You're going to know that every every time you fucking look up, motherfucker, yo, yo, like, I was loyal to this mm. motherfucker. Like, I, I, mm. I really, mm. I it. Facts. facts. What you think, Kat? Hey, man, you talking about, you talking about loyalty or you talking about gangsta? Well, that seems like that What's goes, your definition hand, that goes hand in hand to me. What's gangsta is being loyal. at the end of the day, I, I think... I think, man, the real gangster is kicking in when you're taking care of your family. That's it. At the end of the day, if, like, man, I do so much extra gangster shit for my family than I have to even do for myself. Thanks. Uh, when I really think about it, like, I'm just, like, not even to go in detail because no, no I'm going to give you an example. Good. He do more for his like, family than he does for himself. It's just like, at the That's end real of the talk. day, what he just like, said is real talk. Like, they know, like, when people call kids, like, they know why they, you know why they call. Mm. To me, actions should speak louder than words. I don't have to say nothing. Everybody's gonna have their yeah, everybody agenda, who know, you know me already know. You know yeah. what I mean? They know everybody's I'm gonna, be... gonna have their agenda. Right. It's not it, it, it don't have to my be. My life hidden. ain't thinking about y'all motherfuckers. My life is thinking about me and the motherfuckers I represent. I'm and the motherfuckers that I represent are gonna represent me to the fullest. Like, and that's and that's it, and that's that. Like, I'm not gonna put Facades over things where where they ain't. I know where where it's friend, a lot of people do that. A friend and with a good bullet. bullet. I'm trying For to keep real. up with the Joneses. Telling you. It's a lot of people doing bro, that. Real gangsters, bro. Real gangsters move in silence. You ain't gonna hear a bunch of gangsters. At all times. Going on in the open. Like, yo, like, I ain't gonna lie. Me and my homeboys, man, we be on some gangster shit. I can be like Tim. Look, 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 look at this. Look, look at Lilith on my team. <laughs> that man know what that look about, man. TK. Yeah, slow. <laughs> Come on, man. Stop. <laughs> do the look again. Do the... <laughs> hey. Come on, man. It's a fact. Over it's a lot shit, of gangsta shit. It'd be a lot of gangsta shit going it's on. It's a fact. Too, but ain't nothing secret about my shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's all it is. It's but, real It's real love behind my shit, man. Like, for real. Like, I don't... It's it's nothing fancy and nothing fucking nothing to put on. Nah, like, some people think gangsta is this. This motherfucker's what? really stood behind this shit and, and laid down about this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck no. No, 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 no. Nah, nah, what gangsta is is fucking knowing when the, when, the, when you don't have to fucking pull the trigger. For real. Man, get, motherfucker, get when you when you love... Get them people you love out the way. I have, what did I tell you earlier? I have yeah. loyal fucking enemies and rotten fucking friends. I can't, I, I, and if you can understand that concept, the mother, you really understand that concept. I have loyal enemies and rotten read, fucking friends. Read the friends. book of Art of War. Read that book, The For Art real. of War. You For real. I know who serves what agenda and I know their agenda. Like, come on, man. Like, we in a circle of fucking thieves. Like, I, I know this. But the best thing is to move how you need to move. Like, be the best motherfucking that you can be. I'm the, I never snake nobody, period. I put motherfuckers in position. I never snake nobody. Ever had to. But you know, I realized... Always brought a bag. This Ask a com- about it. There's a commonality between people who become your enemies 
All they remember is the bad shit. They don't remember none of the Never, good shit man. they did for you. Why well, had this dude? And you know who you are. But when you go in the ground, they remember everything. <laughs> Only when you die. Hey. Well, I got to make a will. I, I'm literally going to make a will. I had make, this one dude say some shit like this, bro. Bro, I knew ever since you. I'm talking about, we we'll like 28, bro. 27, bro. 29, bro. Not 29. <laughs> Think about the drawing to the next number. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when we were 15, bro. I knew you were and shit. And this. <laughs> bro, come on. Like, since I was 15. Like, bro, I was still getting to find myself, like, Man, I, I ain't never hang with that person though. I don't care what nobody say, how they feel about that shit. Bro, I never chilled you. It, bro, bro, if if they felt like that, ever, I ever, realize ever, if a lot bro. of people. That's some fake ass with, shit. With a lot of people, that ain't that ain't gangster. That's mm, fake. Nah, with a lot of people, especially when it came to just like some people would only be your friend because it's the benefit from for themselves. You know, Hell. you got to be worried about that pretend gesture of admiration to hit an agenda. The hit an agenda factor Or you can use it to your benefit. big role. Now, <laughs> that is, right. Now, that friends... That hit an agenda friends, be something crazy. Well, I'm a motherfucker open, that's going to use it in my benefit. You think you getting over, motherfucker. You lost. When it's an open <laughs> agenda, it's different. When it's an open lost, agenda, lost. when you know... Like, I know my nigga Kev, my nigga TK on here. Yeah. The open agenda is like, yeah, they could benefit from this. Perfect. I'm okay with that. But well, I'm talking about the hidden agendas. When niggas come, you don't know. I, I got into you know find people, out, bro. I know people True. be like, Tim, I'm only gonna podcast, blah, 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 blah. Hold on, hold on, let me throw one out because I done been downtown out of scene. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> yo, see, here you go. Oh, no, yo, Kev, you ain't realize you ain't realize everybody left. You still the only one on the podcast. Come on, bro. What the fuck? Like, I know exactly what you're talking that's about. That's crazy. Nigga, you was on the podcast. I know exactly what you're talking but about. But you just ain't make the question is The question comes from for this. He he has a good argument. Everybody left. The question comes from for this. God. If they left because of the podcast, that means they was only there because of a podcast. They wasn't there for Where friendship. You at? Where you, they for wasn't you there friends, huh? for you being who you are. Man, you better when I, know. When I, when, when I first met TK, I realized I didn't even know the nigga like this. You know why I fuck with TK? He, I didn't feel no vibe of pretend gestures of I'm a racial and hidden agenda. I can't do he it. He already told me what he wants. I can't Bro, do he it. said, you got this and that. I want to fuck with you. You got, you know, like, you real. And I, re I related to that. These niggas, bro, when that nigga said, oh, Tim, when, when, when your homeboy, I'm going to tell his name. When Mr. Token, I ain't going to say his whole name. When Mr. Token stated when he said that information to you, ain't nobody left on the podcast. I mean, because everybody else had an agenda only to fuck with, with me or the podcast itself because, because I was getting clout. And this is exactly is dangerous. What, this is what exactly me and TK were talking about. Cloud is dangerous. I'm not mad at them. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed because their argument, what he, he he's standing by an argument that's false and his argument could be, well, Tim, you stand about an argument that's false, but that's fact. You only associated with me because you had a benefit for yourself. Granted, he kicked himself out the podcast until I found out he was beating on his ex-girlfriend at the time. Well, Damn. girlfriend. We won't talk about that, though. I'm not going to, you know, I can't, I can't support a man putting their hands on a woman for no reason. <laughs> and if there is a reason... If that woman can't make your face look beat up, like how you beat up her face, then that's not fair. This is why I don't support the whole attribute of putting. I, I can I honestly say I've been I, I've been amongst people that uh, had you know real true friends that had that put their hands on women, and I didn't say what I should have said. And I'll be honest, I'll be oh. honest about that. I'll be honest about that. You know what I, I'm saying? I caught this it man. It, it, it wasn't no. It wasn't no. It wasn't no like. You know what I'm saying? I, at the end of the day, to me, that man has to wear his own his own shit. Right. And he was going through certain things on his own. You know what I'm saying? Right, like, right. Sometimes your karma just gonna come around. Right. But <clears throat> however you handle your business behind closed doors, it's gonna come out. But how right. am I, how do I treat you after that? 
You know it's what I'm hard. saying? How do it's, I? Yeah, how do, do you? I, do I? Am I really like? Oh man, that was my friend, and this whole time he been doing it. Now all of a sudden, I'm not your friend. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Like right. I gotta deal with this shit. You know what I'm saying? I gotta deal with you some kind of way. And right. We were talking about. We were talking about this. But situation. how do you do that? Because I had, I literally had a person on here, and Mr. Token, and the other person is an. I won't say their whole name, mm. but they're anonymous. They go by that, so I can state that that topic, and. It's weird when you kick a person off a podcast because they had a format that had a they, because somebody even attempted to put their hands on a woman. Mm. And then when that same woman, oh, I never witnessed it. I never watched it. I, see, I, I just I knew see, it I happened. witnessed. It. He attempted. Yeah, <laughs> he attempted. That's he, a whole different he, thing. He didn't put his hands I'm on a woman. I'm never going to watch it happen. But but he but attempted. I, I had knowing that they happened. And, and that was just as bad. Facts. Like, you know what I'm saying? What right, do right. I, how do I feel? How do I treat this situation? How do you know what situation? He attempted to put his hands on a woman. He didn't. But that same this woman. This killed for that me. That same <laughs> woman. That same woman goes and support the guy who actually beat up a female. That's hurting me. It's not about the rumors. I don't give a fuck about that. It's not about any of the pity patty party or who's right and wrong. The fact of the matter is. How can you say you're a feminist? You're I can't. A queen. Yeah. I gotta come you are, to you. I ain't gonna I treat have to you come differently. To you. But I'm, I'm, not, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm but gonna come see, to I, you. I treated. I treated him different. I've treated this person differently because How they we made go it seem like we go from there. Right, right. They made it seem like I'm in the wrong because I called him out on this bullshit. I can't bite my tongue. If I'm doing wrong, I want all my friends to call me out on my bullshit. True. Maybe True. I need to learn from it. If you couldn't handle that, you couldn't handle that constructive criticism. Just mean you not you got a lot of growing up to do. But anyway, I'm not mad about all of that. But anyway, let's switch subject. Anyway, let's let's go to switch subject. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk about this before I start wrapping this up. The situation. Since we talk about toxic people, let's talk about somebody who I feel like is toxic. Who is the definition of red flags? And mm. I'm not. I hope this don't bite me in the ass. What I'm about to say, but what's going on with Jada Pickett? <laughs> Oh, what's going I ain't on even see that coming, damn. Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> I know you ain't looking. What's going on with Jada Pickett, Such man? Such a fucking hoe. <laughs> hey, I man. love it. That motherfucker <laughs> said you ain't hitting the wall, oh, motherfucker. That nigga said, God damn. When a woman Ooh. say something about your manhood, though. When a woman fan. I'm surprised he's still. <laughs> I'm surprised that motherfucker's still in the mansion, bro. If that motherfucker ain't on you set, do about Will, if you ain't on set somewhere oh, on somebody yeah. goddamn beach getting oh, ass, it's yeah. like falling at a. I just, TK, you right? You better be getting some motherfucking Brazilian bitches right now, motherfucker, lined up, asses out, like, bro, for real? I'll be having I'm not gonna I'll lie. make a damn say, bro. I put my own damn say, say, say I'm going to be real with y'all. Are you serious? Now, so, when it comes to the, Smith, the Will Smith family, and I'm not it's got to be right different in that bitch. I always felt like it's got to be different. I always felt like I always felt like they had an open relationship. She done ball her hair. You know it's different. She going through Molly Cyrus shit, nigga. No, he said Molly. Like, no, no, no. You know the shit real, bro. Like, this motherfucker. No. Like, she about to have bitches next. Watch what no, I tell no. you. I always felt like they had... Next. But listen, I always felt like they had an open relationship. I always felt like they had an open relationship. But, but why? for her to say that... Why you gonna play you got, the man? Manhood. Oh she, yo, my. she, you know what that was? I went through your text messages, motherfucker, and I couldn't wait to tell it. Mm. Yo, now that sound like that to me. But may I, I got to drink to that, ladies I don't and gentlemen. Know. You, you, somebody said something to somebody. Something. <laughs> Come on, man. You got all the money in the world, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You got all the money in the world, bro. Come on now. I ain't gonna lie. Your so, old lady say you ain't here. Mm. I had a friend of mine the other day. I won't Boy, say that's got to hurt. Boy, that's got to, God damn. That's got to make me take the fifth, more than the fifth down, boy. I'm going to let you know right now. <laughs> my, my friend told me that she mad at me because I got married. But I'm a man mm. about my principles. Listen, mm. she moved on. Before I got married, she mm. moved on. I moved on. So oh, what you do know I, you're wrong. <laughs> how do I look like... Now, that's that hang on pussy. Like, oh, you, you better hang on to this I dream, do, motherfucker. I look like <laughs> holding on to empty cups of water. When Jada Pickett said that statement, 
I felt like, damn. That was the, yo, that was that the, was I walked worse. away. I walked away from the body and I forgot the tombstone. Yeah, you know, I, I forgot the yeah. headstone on this nigga. Like, bro, like, yo, yo, they, they must be going through settlement right now and it must be low key. I got to For drink real, that. for real. No, no, no. For real, for real. When you got money like that, oh! when you go, when you got money like that and when you selling, your ass going to be quiet as fuck, but you can't say everything that's going on. Your ass can disrespect. You know what I'm saying? In certain ways that, you know what I'm saying? But when it gets slanderous, you know what's going to happen. You know I, what I'm feel like what she's but saying, I think they're going through settlement right now. I feel like she's capping. I really capping. fucking do. I feel like she, she, she's, she, if you was a man that long, you know, and, and, she, and they're not able to satisfy you, and you come out 20-something years, 28 years, whatever the fuck. I think they're going through settlement right now. I think that she capping, and like you said, she saw something on the phone, he moved on. After you had that entanglement, I need. The if my wife told me she had an entanglement, bitch, I'm going to bro, fuck. Right? What? You know what? You listen, listen. I need to get divorce paper. You listen, you when, when Bill, listen, listen. When Bill, entanglement. When Bill Gates get divorced, motherfucker, goddamn motherfucker, computer genes of the world, motherfucker, and this motherfucker can't talk about shit, and the motherfucker just coming out talking about certain things. Yo. Come on, man. I'm, Everybody, I'm, nobody's invincible. I don't care what dollar amount you, you I have. I feel like I feel like Jeffrey want not Jeffrey. But Wanda. Will, you better be on a beach somewhere. Get his ass somewhere. You know I, just, what I'm I feel bad for I'm Will. Talking, man, I'm talking I hope about Will find out. Just, Lamar Odom shit, motherfucker. You better goddamn. I just want my niggas to be happy. Get my nigga a jigger. I always have. <laughs> I mean, I had the up respect for Jada, but when she said some, when the entanglement situation happened, I'm like, okay, so you let the world know unconsciously that you had an open relationship. Everybody, I feel like I already knew that. Okay, but when you said that he wasn't, he must have hit right? a fire, bitch, boy. I'm telling you, he must hit something fire. I'm telling you, man, Jada, this shit Jada. crazy, bro. This shit crazy, bro. Listen. How would you feel if the world knew that your old lady was getting hit by some motherfucking art? What are you gonna uh, do? What's the first thing you gonna do as uh, a nigga? Come on, man! Like you got all uh, the, you got all the money in the world to be as secret as the fuck as you want. What the fuck you think he? What the fuck? The was first you? emotion I fit I, I, I would feel was absolute betrayal. Yeah. Let's be real talk. Real talk. Let's. Mm. Put, I'm not gonna laugh no more. Let's first be just thing real I feel serious. is freedom. I, <laughs> Okay. And the first thing I'm feel just is fucking for, freedom. The first thing I would feel if my wife is doing some shit like that, I'm thinking you be out of everybody. You betrayed me, a person who never, as a I husband and wife. TMZ, my I mean, I mean, real with you. Pop up when you a husband and wife, <laughs> anything that happened before that, I really don't give a fuck. When you husband and wife, when you make that oath under the Almighty, shit change a little bit differently. I can't. Mm, mm, Lord have mercy. Shit changed a little bit differently. <laughs> and the thing about it is, that level of respect and loyalty and communication comes a long way. When mm. I can know, I can communicate with my wife about anything. That's some real shit. If anybody, shout out to my husbands and wives out there who really, really out there. But I got a, I got a 10 year wife. relationship and I feel like I could tell my old lady things. Like, I'm, and I'm not married, but I feel like I can. What, do you have, yo. So let me ask you this question, TK. I've been Are engaged you like four years. <laughs> okay, so you ain't got me beat. I've been engaged for a decade. Oh shit! So you ain't got me beat. <laughs> Were you engaged a decade? I mean, let me tell you something. Let me get, get beat on. And I love her, and, and and I'm able to tell her things that most motherfuckers wouldn't be able to tell their old ladies, bro. That's the point. Like, motherfucker, are if, you gonna get married? I under the eyes of God. Are you gonna get married? Whatever you, whatever mm -hmm. you can't. Hey, look, how he changed your hey, look. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why you say, why you do that? I'm, yeah, man. Uh, yes, yes. Are you going to get like, yes. married contractually and under God, the Almighty? Man. I'm trying to figure out the prenuptial, man. You got to understand, land come with this. Okay, here, <laughs> hit me out, hit me out. I can't move on my own land, nigga. You know what I'm talking about? Like, get you I, a lawyer. Hey, hey, hey. My wife did sign a prenuptial. Let me say she something. ain't going for it. That's the whole no, 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 no. I prenup ain't no regular. <laughs> I prenup ain't no regular prenup. She ain't think about the land, but that ain't the, that ain't the whole up. If I fuck up, the prenup is what's called null and void. And I'm okay with that. I don't plan on fucking up. You know we what got I mean? a great understanding. We have a we have that 10-year understanding where you you understand people more. You know what I'm saying? Like every you gotta do things different. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do things to keep people. So my you question know? is as I look at an invisible watch when you get married. Yes. <laughs> I will yes. jump over a broom <laughs> like my ancestors. <laughs> 
Hey, Let on. me tell you something, man. Let, what the damn Bama Claw done say? You know, you heard what the man done say? Jump over the broom, man. Do you know it hey. doesn't represent, man, but the hey. Bama Claw, man. <laughs> boy, a rag one, no, boy. I love you, boy. love you. I love you, love you. Oh. Shout out to Miss CK, girlfriend, future wife. <laughs> It's gonna um, happen. It's gonna happen for real. For real. Um, I'm gonna go She's ahead and crank. A good woman. Sis, go ahead, crank that. Put the ring on it. Go ahead. Yeah, I agree with you. I know I just, TK. Yo. I know TK want me switch type check. I and agree with you. There's, a, there's another. Hey, hey. If it's more, <laughs> look, look, look. If y'all been engaged more than five, six years, don't she let it be a She took a lot of things that came with me. I ain't gonna lie. Like that. That was. That I was w- everything. I, I should have got married earlier. The reason why I didn't get. I'm gonna be real with y'all. The reason why I didn't get married was because of my selfishness. Mm. And, and I'm selfish. And that's, I'm selfish. That's real. I'm narcissistic. I'm, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I wake up with kiss the, Narciss- mo- uh, kiss the mirror in the okay, morning. Okay, okay. Au revoir. I swear, uh, yo, for real. <laughs> I'm, I'm real enough to keep it real with myself. I was, I was selfish, and I was. That's a kid. I wasn't afraid. I was hey. disappointed in a sense. You know what I mean? And you have so. to look at it from that premise, from that perspective. Right on. And it's, you know, like, I, I realized I wasn't mature enough. I wasn't ready. But I used the excuses. Go. I used the excuses of maturity. I knew what I want. I just wanted my ice cake and icing and cherry on top, too. I, mean, I know what I want. You know what I mean? I just want to keep my land, too. <laughs> hey, look at Will. Will going through hundred million dollar good, fucking problems. Good, God, poor Will. Think about the bag that man got to split, oh bro. My God. And you getting talked about. You your dick getting talked about, man. No. I'm sorry, pause. Whatever, motherfucker. Dumb but your shit, your old lady out here ball her head and talking about your Jenny, shit, bro. Look good, you look she about to be eating Let some pussy inter- in about hold five on, hold minutes, on, hold on, y'all. Let me interject. And she ain't Let already. me interject, my nigga TK, no. for the first, the realest interjection. Jada Pickett, Barack Obama, she still no. had the body. You she should have so? kept some of that hair like, like set you it off. You think so? Hell yeah. TK, TK. She bought her that shit like Britney Spears. Like she trying to get a life-changing experience out of this bitch. But she got you the know body what the for it. Happen. You know what's about to happen, Jada Will. Jada Pickett, right. girl. Will, you I'm not mad if you get right, caught right, up with them Brazilian Will hookers, man. I ain't this. mad. But keep that shit low-key. <laughs> keep it low-key. Do what you're doing, bro. Take them flights. I ain't gonna lie. Take I, them flights, bro. I disagree with TK. That nigga got a private jet ready to go. 80%. Jada Pickett can rock that short hair. She got it going on. Nigga. But I will say... It ain't cheating if you don't do it in this continent. And I don't give a fuck what you say. <laughs> you uh, say? If you wanted... There's no void outside If you wanted a thousand United miles America, away... God damn it. He basically said, if you wanted you know a thousand... I ain't bullshit. You wanted a thousand miles away, you could go if ahead and fuck. If I can go fuck. to Dubai right now and get six wives, I can, motherfucker. Why yeah, not? If you could pay that dari. Right. Get the fuck. Shout out to I'm Dubai. A- <laughs> I disagree. Everything, everything my nigga TK just uh, said was toxic as hell. I'm, I'm toxic I disagree. I disagree with my nigga TK 75, 80%. <laughs> my nigga I'm said, about to break up homes and shit. <laughs> hell no. Lady, hey, you need a wing, man, gonna, nigga. Leave, uh, leave a comment. I got them hoes down with Did you. Did you hear what he just said? You gonna come back to the next fire <laughs> too, yo. Hey, too. Yeah, I said your crib. <laughs> <laughs> but what happened? Man, my wife don't. I was my future shit. wife don't, don't kick me out the house. <laughs> what you do, TK? Watch the fight, man. Watch the fight. The one podcast. Yo, my wife's intuition is so crazy. Yo, let me tell you something about my wife. Oh, oh, let me tell you something. Her, her fucking intuition is so good. She know when I eat the last of something that I was supposed to say for her. In the mm. first 30 minutes, nigga. Not the first 48. Motherfucker, the first 30 minutes, she Guy came in my room. Bro, look, I had a munchy moment. She came in my room like, yo, you ate the last Pop-Tart. I'm like, God damn. Last Pop-Tart. Good God, God damn, motherfucker. You the goddamn spread wife, the gadget, My wife crushed my ass out. That one time she made that meatloaf good. That God, motherfucker, real, God. bro. That's how long you, that's how you know we connected like that, though. That's real. My wife For made real. that meatloaf she and know. I ate that last bee. Bro. I said, wife, I couldn't help it. Girl, she put her foot. And I say that. That's my wife. Our I don't care, I don't care what the title it is on it. That's my wife. I mean, that meatloaf was sitting so good, boy. Pause the homo. Was... For real. I mean, that shit was hard. My wife is mad, but it did go back. She I'm about to say, more. Tim, that's what my insurance say. <laughs> God damn. Since we talk about insurance, before <laughs> I end this episode, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to have a real, real uh, situation of making sure that your car is Please, not being man. touched. I had a situation where my 
Cadillac converter, my muffler, and my O2 sensor got stolen, right? No. Cad. If I find out who it is. Mm. Well, I can't rest in peace because they they putting it back together for you. They're putting it back? I can't rest in peace it either. That's my man. I can't rest Jeep. in peace. Shout out to my Jeep heads. Just pay attention to where your car is. For real. Make sure you got cameras. Make sure you got a strap. Make sure you got a machete. Being home has made and, motherfuckers um, creative as a motherfucker. And just make sure <laughs> you know where your vehicle is. Straight I mean, up. They got that Sawzall, boy. They, motherfuckers got uh, all day. Uh, hey, tell uh, what I say. Hey, motherfuckers uh, got all day. Hey, all I'm going to say is before we end this podcast up. is that motherfucker that hit me on College Road yesterday. I what? forgot you. I forgot and, you got a crack for and, yeah. and that. Yeah, and that insurance Get the fuck out. and your insurance people try to take up your side when you know you did it wrong. Oh, when you know you dropped off that Get scene, lawyer. Get so, the, so the crash Get couldn't be analyzed Get to that lawyer. parking whoa, lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm suing whoa, you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! He ain't mean none of your insurance company. He ain't mean none of that. Oh, you, you. I'm suing. Bo- I'm suing both of y'all. I'm suing yes. both. Oh, oh, all right. I'm suing. I'm making the wrong. I'm suing all three of y'all. Tree man, tree. I ain't know. The company, <laughs> yeah. the company, hey, the sponsor, and the and the bummer cloud that done yeah, drove handle business. Off. Handle business. I ain't about to say, I ain't about to explain my situation like uh, and all uh, that. Yeah, I didn't I don't know that situation, so I didn't know day, nothing about it. At the end of the day, you can't analyze a fucking crash scene when somebody drives away. Well, the rule of thumb, a, a, a one fourth a mile away from the fucking scene to go oh, park your car. The rule of thumb, oh. I drive commercial vehicles. And the majority of the vehicles I drive is always That's more than, saying so. more than 80,000 pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, <laughs> I'm on your ass. Yeah. Listen, if you get in a car accident and you drive away, nine times out of ten, you considered the causality of the accident. I'm Think about your, it. I'm Why on the fuck your you driving away? You know what I mean? Kev, my, my response to that and my advice is to get you a lawyer. Be prepared for taxation without rep- representation. You got to represent yourself. Get somebody represent yourself yeah. and get you a lawyer. The person drove away. Think about it. I don't give a fuck what you did. The other individual, the other party drove away from a scene at the time that was an accident. Did they do it maliciously? Like they were trying to make it seem like right, they were trying to get away from Right, the man went in the left. So like we going, the man went in the left lane like he was about to bust the U and then turn back into the car, man. I'm... I mean, I'm, but then I'm, left I'm, after that. I'm still going from when he turned off. When you turn back into my car, bro. What the fuck, man? Like I, I, like I was about to be like, like. That's crazy. I'm gonna tell you right now, bro. I'm suing y'all. Like, I don't care what nobody say, bro. I, I don't even. Sue I'm gonna people. give him. I'm gonna I give my boy information. Never sue nobody yeah, in my life. Right. You better sue motherfuckers, I ain't man. Never sue nobody in my life, but I'm suing y'all. Uh, yeah, I'm right. Ain't nothing wrong with suing a motherfucker. Suing Shit. Y'all, like. Shit, like you better, hey, we look. ain't handling the street. Maybe, <laughs> hey, look, 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 legality. When you go in that court and your, your lawyer represent you, nigga, I love my lawyer. My, I told you, Ben Diva. Shout out to Ben Diva. Go my to lawyer, him for gangster. everything. My lawyer, gangster. I can't even. I can't even talk about it because she's also my lawyer for my podcast. An event that somebody sued me. So when you find out, you'd be like, oh shit. But anyway, <laughs> no sir, nigga. That's my that's my advice to you. This is Great Apes Cafe. We live and direct on the motherfucking airways. Leave a comment and like, subscribe, share. Um, before I wrap this up, anybody got anything else left to say? Hell yeah. I oh, want to say thank you to the, I mean, it's something. But them people deserve more. Like, who? The uh, the victims of the shooting of from Dylan Roof, they, mm. they got an uh, $88 million settlement. That's sad. That's what uh, happened. Definitely deserve more. Um, and nothing you can do to replace a person with a with, with a check, right? But it's always a start and a, and a, and a uh, you know a beginning for something. So I, I hope that leads off to something where they're actually giving true memorials and true things mm, that that mm. sh- show those were real people. Right. They're not just a name. They're not just you know a news article. They're people, right? That lost their lives some, worshiping put some respect God. On it, right? Put some respect on the name, please. I feel like. I'm going to wrap this up with this. Be wary of pretend gestures of admiration and hidden agendas. But more importantly, Amen. be wary of the state of mind that you're in. Because it's a lot of people who don't want you to be happy. And some people would just want destruction because they're in a self-destructive mode. 
This is Great Apes Cafe. Great appreciation for people. Entertainment and success. I want you to like, subscribe, share. And deuces. Until the next time. Great Apes. Great Apes. I can't do it like, uh... Great Apes. Because when a woman fed up... My boy. And ain't nothing you can do about...